let, let's just get this, let's just get this straight here, all right? I, I just want you to understand that this is how I understand it. I had been homeless. I had been in shelters. I was given an indoor sleeping arrangement. I sewed a garment. And while I'm sewing a garment, I witnessed to, real time, them trying to effectuate a coup in another country. And they used accounts associated with people that weren't from that actual country. I witnessed it. Real fucking time. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think that the reason it wasn't successful is because of something I actually did. It almost succeeded. But something happened. And when something happened, the override on the program ended up having a moment of vulnerability that was allowed to reestablish the protocols associated with maintaining the security network so that they weren't able to actually effectuate the finality of their paradigm. This was in 2016. Now, did I know at the time that this was happening? No, but I knew within about 72 hours. And I knew. And that whole time, everybody's acted like they're a jackass on drugs. I met somebody. He said he used to work in, a, he had a State Department uh, in his past. He said he used to work at the Department of Justice. I tried to tell him about this. He tried to fuck me. Literally wanted to have fucking sex with me. Now you've got my fucking email account back in coded to pin numbers, cross-referencing with appropriations bills regarding exceptions for Department of Defense staff in Turkey that coded it to shared medical treatment regarding civilian employees of the Department of fucking Defense. That's fucking treason, assholes. Not only that, you got some special legal corporation exception so that piece of shit in his little fucking uh, law review and all his little jackass artists, all of them are doing what? He wanted to, he was the one that sent me the fucking email. He had no right to send me. I contacted him. I said, you need to let this person know. You sent me a correspondence that you had with him. There was no reason for me to get that. And I suspected he was trying to entice me into agreeing to provide some sort of spy role with his friends or his colleagues who already were in a high-risk situation because of their political dissident views. He specifically and strategically inserted himself into their political paradigm so he could traffic them and traffic children in schools that they administered to launder money, illegally launder assets, involving whoever the fuck these traitors are that co-conspired with him, kidnapped me, electronically tortured me for fucking years, and to this fucking day are sabotaging and interfering with my communications and my efforts at due process. That's the only fucking way to see it. And every single one of you assholes that thought that any other fucking thing was important, except that handling this responsibly is a co-fucking conspirator. It doesn't really matter that in this case, the country of concern might at this point not be sanctioned. The point of the matter is, it was with people in this country co-conspiring to violently overthrow that government in order to insert their interests into preeminence as a prelude to trying to do the same fucking thing here. That's treason, assholes. None of you has any right anything at all legitimate about interfering with any of my fucking communications and you sure as fuck don't have any fucking right to pretend you're me and use my shit for anything connected to anything you fucking do. Since 2016, since July of 2016, every fucking thing you've done when you stole my life that I was real time aware of it was goddamn fucking treason the whole fucking time. Anything before that I didn't prove real fucking time catching your ass in the fucking act. You need to stand the fuck down.